Hi everyone, welcome back to your YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 36 of our 100 days SQL challenge series. Today I'm going to solve one of the SQL question asked in Google and Amazon data analyst interview. And thanks for sending all those requests to continue this SQL challenge series. So let's see the problem statement and then we will see how we can solve this problem. So this question was asked by two company, which is the top two company, which is Google and Amazon data analyst interview. Now you can find this question and data set in the video descriptions. Now let's see the data set and let's see the question. Then we will try to understand the question and then we will solve the problems. So if you see, this is a weather data set that we have. So we have a specific ID. So for each record, we have an ID, which is the primary key here. You can see this is the ID. This is the ID. This is the ID, right? So we have four ID and we have a recorded date. Like for each day, that is the date. You can see it here. And for that specific date, you have the temperature, which is here, like 10 degree. Then we have 15 degree, then 20 degree and then 30 degree. Okay. So this is a very simple data set with three columns. Okay. Now this is a very, very common interview question that has been asked by most of the companies. Now let's see the problem statement. It says write a SQL query to find all dates ID. So we need to find all dates ID with higher temperature compared to the previous dates yesterday. So let's say for this ID, we need only this ID. If this temperature is higher than the previous date, for example, here, if you see here, for this date, this today temperature is 25, right? But if you see the previous temperature, that was 10. Now we need this ID because this temperature, this today temperature is 25 and the previous temperature was 10. That means this today temperature is higher than the previous temperature. Same way, we do not need this ID, this ID, which is three. Why? Because the previous temperature was higher and today temperature is lower. So we do not need this basically ID. Okay. But we need this ID because here, even if you see again, this temperature is higher than this temperature, which is the previous recorded temperature. So we need this ID. So we only need this ID is only if this specific day's temperature is higher than the previous recorded temperature. Okay. So this is what we need. Now to solve this problem, we can use a simple approach, which is called window functions. So using window functions, what you can do, you can see it here with using window function. This is our main table, which is ID, record date and the temperature. So using window functions, you can create a new column using this column, which is temperature ID. And you can use the window functions lag. So lag will return the previous row record. So here there is no previous row record. So we are having null here. Usually from the here, you get the previous row here. But if you see the second row, yes, the previous row is uh, the previous record was a uh, 10, right? So you will be having 10 here. So 10 is coming from here to here. Okay. If you see 25 is coming from here to here. Okay. If you see 20 is coming from here to here. Okay. Now we can compare uh, between these two, right? I can say that get me this ID only if this temperature is uh, greater than this uh, previous day temperature, because here I am having the previous uh, day temperature which I have created using simple window functions and leg. Okay. So this is the approach that we will do to solve our problem. Because if you see here, the today temperature is 25 and the previous temperature is 10. So how we have got the previous temperature using simple window functions leg. So using window functions, you can get any previous record using leg window functions. So let's say here I need the previous date. So previous date, I can have it here. Okay. From here, it will come here. So from here, so here, this will come here. Okay. So this will come here. So using leg, you can get any uh, records. So here, if you see, there is no previous record. So we would have null here, right? Null, null. But if you see here, we have a previous record. So we have one here. So we have a previous record. We have two here. We have previous record. We have three here. Then you can compare, right? This is going to be a new columns. Now this is the approach that we're going to follow to solve this problem. So you can get this data set from the video descriptions. So let's go ahead and launch our applications. I'm going to use PG admin four tools, which is uh, the Postgres SQL management tool. Now you can use any tools. You can use even MySQL as well. You just need to run this code to create the table and the data sets. So you can see we have the data set, which is the same data sets. We have the recorded date and we have the temperature three columns. Okay. Now what I need is that I need only this ID. If this specific day temperature is higher than the previous day, like here, the previous day is this one, the temperature was 10 and the today temperature is 25. Okay. So that means I need this specific ID. Okay. Now let's quickly go ahead and create a new column using this temperature column using window functions. Okay. So for that, you can simply go ahead and say that what you need is the weather. So let's go ahead and uh, write here. What are the things we need? We need everything from the table and I would need this a temperature. Okay. So what I need is that 
window functions called leg and I leg on this column so leg you can use on a specific columns so for example for this column I am trying to access this a previous row okay so previous row from here to it will come here so from here it will come here from here it will come here okay so this is what I am trying to do so for that I would say leg on this column because I need the values for this column so it is important for you to identify which column you want to use a leg okay so you can say leg of temperature and I need one specific row up okay so you can say one two if you need two row up you can say two and then we can simply do a over so you can say over this is part of this window functions leg over and we just need to do order by order by this recorded date okay so order by record date ascending so you don't have to define ascending and we can save it as previous day temperature okay so if you just run this query you will see that it is going to create a new column and wherever we have the previous record okay we are getting it where we do not have the previous record we are having null so here you can see for this this is the first record right there is no previous uh, you know cell so that means we are having null here because we are going one row up okay but if you from here if you go one row up you will have this cell value right we are putting it here if you go one row up from this 20 you will have 25 so you're putting it here now basically using window functions you can access one row up uh, records okay very simple or two row up uh, records that's on your requirement now next what we simply need to do is that we can simply compare this column and this column we can say that we need everything from this table where this this today's temperature see this one is a higher than the previous uh, temperature so for that you will have this record and you will have this record right because this two record have this temperature is higher than the previous days a temperature okay so for that we can use a simple city or sub query because you cannot directly use this column in the where conditions so what we will do is that we will go ahead and uh, save this data in a city so we would say with and i can just give any name called weather data and s and i can save it in a city like this way okay so so this first this query is going to be executed it's going to create a new column called previous day temperature and everything is in the same line you can see for each day temperature you have the previous day temperature in the next uh, column okay now from this weather temperature i can select whatever i need so i would force select everything to show you from this data and then i'm going to use simply where conditions where now this table which weather data table has everything you can see all this column so that means i can use this column this time so i can go ahead and say where this temperature is a higher okay so temp which is called previous days temperature so let's run it and you will see that we only have those records where this temperature is a higher than their previous days temperature now how we have got the previous days temperature using very simple approach which is called window functions okay so this is fine now i only need this id not this everything so i would simply go ahead and select what i need is this id okay so let's go ahead and run this query and you can see now i have this ids where the previous days temperature was lower and this today temperature is higher okay now what you just need to remember is very simple is that using window functions lag you can get for any column you can get the previous record like for here you can get the previous record which is this one here you can get the previous record this one okay so that is then you can kind of compare between two columns okay because if you need something where you need to compare this date with this date then what are your only options is that you have window functions lag okay but if you use a lead then you can get the next uh, you know row record here so we can use lead here so for lead I will be having this value which is here okay I mean in a new column that I will be creating all right that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end I hope you have learned something new today if yes do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet see you tomorrow have a good day take care bye bye